So welcome back to the campaign. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. In Total War Warhammer, that means using some mods to make the campaign and battles slower and harder to try to fit the brutal world of Warhammer, and also fighting all but the most lopsided battles manually. There's a link in the description to the video where I go over all the mods we're using and why, and another one to the Steam collection where you can subscribe to all these mods with a single button press. For this campaign, we are playing as Kugoth Plaguefather, the fetid brewmaster, setting out to spread across the world not for the sake of conquering it, but in search of the perfect plague. For some reason, humans and dwarves and lizards and everyone else don't seem to want to embrace Grandfather Nurgle's toxic love and are fighting back, which is an annoyance to Kugath and will just have to use more forceful methods, like destroying their armies, conquering their cities, and spreading our corruption to every province we can reach. Okay, so after being a little light on the action in the previous episode, hopefully we're going to be a little bit heavy on the action in this one, and I think we will be because I think we're going to be attacking Greasus here in Shambletown. So he's back down to kind of what looks like basically what he was last time that we did this, which makes sense. It says here one more turn on the ague. We could probably hit him with another one to do a little bit more damage to him. Um, I'm assuming that as long as we kept hitting him every turn with the plague, it would continue to do that to him. Okay, yeah, we... Oh, interesting. So we discovered Reichland. I'm sure they love us. Okay, and uh, the upkeep is very good. The rank gained. Yeah, let's go ahead and take care of this while I'm thinking about it. And we got ourselves the, the Nurgling Palanquin. I'm fine with that for the Plague Riddens. And we got ourselves the cult. Let's go ahead and take care of that as well. Sure, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of additional income on of infections. And you... Let's go ahead and give you replenished troops. There we go, that's good. All right, so... What we had decided to do, if I remember correctly, is we want to give ourselves a little bit in the way of Regiments of Renown. So, what's going to be good against Ogres? Do we have anything that's anti-large? We don't. That figures. Uh, we, we could always also obviously just do the immediate summoning recruitment that Nurgle has. Um, somebody mentioned that they thought that there were some Chaos Marauders available, but I don't think so here. There are, wait a minute, where's the... Yeah, I'm sorry, Chaos Warriors. I think, I think we got all the mortal units that we could recruit already taken care of. No, I'm sorry. We got Chaos Warriors right there. So that's an option. However, they're going to come in at partial strength. And we we probably, if we're going to fight this battle this turn, although actually, let me just double check. We can reach, right? Yeah, we can reach. Okay. So if we're going to fight this this turn, then we do want units coming in at full strength. So a couple of things to note here. First of all, I'm glad that somebody did agree that there's value in having, uh, I think several of you said that that you're, uh, you, you agree with basically having Kugath really locking down Gorst over here. Gorst is just basically pinned. We're not at a position where we're ready to attack him there just yet, but he doesn't dare come out because without his 20 stack garrison here, and Flayed Rock, which is substantial. Not so much these guys, but there's, like I said, there's the, uh, pretty sure that's a uh, Mortis engine that they have in there. Um, so he doesn't dare really expose himself to a, a regular old field battle here. So we got him locked down with our one army. We've got, what, three armies locked down with one. So there's value in that. And, and if Gorst can't, 
break out of his one and only settlement. It's just a matter of time before we outproduce him and can wipe him out. So back to this, we do want to start making some headway here. I don't want this to go on forever. I was, I was and still am a little bit concerned that the episodes should be a little bit entertaining, which means fighting battles fairly frequently, not to mention it is good for us to be fighting battles anyway. It's a primary source of income for us, not to mention experience. Anyway, enough said about all that. Let's go ahead and do our regiments of renowned recruitment. We've got 3,900. We could actually afford... We could afford all three. The Festering Stooges. So these are these guys are good. Special ranged weapon. Yeah, these are just exalted plague bearers. There's value in that. What do they have over regular plague bears? If anything, they have Festering Gate. Oh, okay. That's good. Yes, definitely. We'll take that. That's regeneration. That's valuable. So we want that. We want the Chaos Giant. Um, and also, yeah, this is something that I wanted to mention. Somebody also mentioned that they think there is value in the Forsaken. Um, and you're, you're right. I probably shouldn't suggest that there's not a, a use for these units. Obviously, this is the Regiment of Renown, but regular. I don't see any reason not to get it. Not to get all of them. Uh, there's there's definitely value in even the regular ones, but it does require a little bit more micro, and I have a tendency in the big, the big fights to not be able to handle juggling all the units, and you don't, you don't really want Forsaken to just get locked down in a front-line fight against... Uh, against a uh, an enemy they're good as flankers and and i will try to use them as such so let's go ahead now and they they've already got the base weapon damage minus 15 percent i think i'm gonna since i have the infections to do it i think i'm gonna go ahead and hit them with a new a new plague let's reduce their melee attack and let's give them, let me just check and see, what do they have in terms of missile units? They got almost none, okay, that's good. So back to you. We're gonna give them a reduction to their melee attack. We're going to give them a base, we're gonna repeat that basically. And then we'll give them I think that's all. That's all we need to worry about. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Of the let's go ahead and hit them. Spread plague. Okay. Unfortunately, of course, the garrison is not going to be affected by that, but it is what it is. Garrison's pretty, pretty uh, generic anyway. And Grog, let's go ahead and get you in on them. I do think our heroes are going to have to do a lot of the work here. Uh, if we auto-resolved, we would lose half of our army. Let's see if that changes once we get... Let's see, can you get all the way up there and still be in encampment stance? That would be good. Okay, so now when, if we look at this, we are at still at a Pyrrhic victory, although we would not lose any units. That's not the way we want to do things around here, of course, but it is always an option for many people. So let's go ahead and do this. I just want to, before I click on starting the battle, I want to make sure I've got a decent assessment. They've got spears. They've got lots of dual weapon ogres, iron guts. they got obviously just basically a lot of really strong melee infantry. And then they have Greasus himself. And they have these hunters who are going to be their only ranged attackers. Do we have any speed on our side? Just the, uh, just the Chaos Warhounds. 
So we may want to get them around to just bog down those hunters for a little bit. I doubt if they can. Oh, of course, we also have their flankers, their, uh, their saber tusks to worry about. Well, it's going to basically be a clash of, of lots of... It's going, to be, it's going to be a battle between the front lines, really, whose front line can hold out better. They have an advantage over our generic units, our chaos, our uh, marauders here. But we do have some regiments of renown. We got the giant. We got, we got, we got some stuff. And I think we want to probably sit back and wait for them to join us. So let's go ahead and get our front line here. I think what we want to do is the Great Axe Infantry. Let's get you guys here up front. Let's get the Great Axe Infantry behind them because we want to choose which target to hit with that. He is good at armor piercing, which, I mean, they've got, they've got pretty low armor almost everywhere. Maybe, maybe we'll send him on Greasus himself. Greasus probably has pretty good armor. 98, yeah, okay. All right, now, you, you definitely would need to be part of the front line. And Forsaken here. Let's get our giant. Let's get our... Can we hide these guys somewhere? Not really. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to send them into the woods over here. Maybe they can hide very quickly. Although these units, as they come towards us, are extremely likely to find them. So never mind. We're not going to do that. We're going to... We're going to move them back here. They won't be hidden, but they'll be further away, and presumably they'll not be interested in running all the way up there. Spawn of Nurgle, you guys. Anti-infantry, which is, of course, good. Um, let's go ahead and get you over here on this flank for now. I don't love having you in the front line, but I kind of have, have a dearth of front line units. Although I need, I need to remember this. Okay, so we got a little bit. We spread out just a little bit because we do have these exalted heroes, which are going to help the cause tremendously. We've got a plague ridden who is going to basically just probably hit. Probably use a little spirit leech. Maybe have... Yeah, I got actually this soul blight here. That could be pretty useful. It's a... Uh, it, it's a big area of effect, so that's good. And then, of course, we have Grog himself. We'll get him over here. And... Then we got our cultists. Let's just get you guys providing what little... Leadership benefits you can do at this point, and let's go ahead and start the battle. So let's speed things up. Let's go ahead and move you guys back for now. That's not exactly how I wanted to do that. There we go. So are they going to, they're going to wait for us to come to them. That's fine. That is fine. What's our winds and magic reserve? Really terrible. Okay, and then we got uh, we got these guys. So basically, we can extend our front line a little bit with them. Maybe even pull the uh, we could pull the Forsaken back. Not the Forsaken, the uh, Chaos Spawn. There we go. Okay, let me just slow it down long enough. I, I won't I won't keep it slowed down for very long. But I do want to go ahead and just not feel rushed. Oops. Not feel rushed as I set up the extension to our front line here. And yeah, let's get the Nurglings over here as well. Why not? Are they coming? No, they're just moving around. Okay. All right. So, and then what else do we have here? We got 
We got Mr. Harold and Let's go ahead and get you over here on this flank, I suppose. You've got yourself another cultist over here, and we have a, another plague ridden. So both of our plague riddens are death. Both of our lords are Nurgle. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to get the lord here, Plague Chosen. I'm going to get him over here. But everything else I'm going to kind of leave where they are. Actually, I'm going to just switch the two of you. So, okay. All right. Let's speed up. Let's go ahead and get up, 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 up. everybody moving forward at this point. Let's say, let's see how they react once we move there. We're going to speed up. We're going to send our Chaos Warhounds into the trees now because since they're not heading, heading towards us, they probably can hide themselves. We're walking because the pretty sure the fatigue gives us a greater detriment with the mods that we're using. And we don't we we basically don't want to give up any advantages to the enemy, any unnecessary advantages to the enemy. You guys just want to make sure I've got an eye on you so that I remember to use you as flankers. In fact, it might even be good for me to move him into here. The dogs are hidden. Okay. Let's go ahead and get everybody else selected now. They're, not, they're still not moving, so we'll just keep moving you guys forward. What's their speed? 46. So it's not terrible. Alright, that's lots of ogres right there. Let's go ahead and give ourselves the high ground. Well, uh, they're not coming towards us, so never mind about that. Okay, where's the range of their missile units? Not really too close. Okay, I think what we want to do is we want to hold our formation. So I'm actually going to keep all of you guys right now locked in formation. As we move forward, we're going to lose the charge bonus, which is unfortunate, but... I don't want guys to be getting out of the area where our leaders are providing their benefits. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll start out running, but we'll change in a moment to... Yeah, I guess we'll stay hidden back there. All right, let's speed up. Everybody can... Once we get within missile range here. Everybody can run now. I think I can probably go ahead now and select them all. Let's go ahead and get rid of the control group. Okay. How did you get so far ahead? You must move... Oh, uh, you're Palanquin, I guess. You're moving faster. Okay. All right. You guys now. You guys now. Where's uh, Where's Greasus? Greasus is coming. Okay. What do we have here? Do we... Let's, let's start with some streams of corruption. I don't think we got a good use for our... For our uh, 
Blight Boil. Oh, damn it, he was too far away. That's annoying. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, get you on Greasus. Okay, Cultist number one, you help out with Greasus. You, you need to get back. Cultist number two, you help out on Greasus. Go ahead and use your ability there. All right, now. Okay, and our giant, you can... Oh, okay. It's time to it's time to bring these guys around. Chaos spawn, where are you at? Let's just get you on the iron guts, okay. And where's our uh There you are, let's get you in here. As a flanker. Okay. Alright. We need we need to take down Greasus. Probably should have. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look at this. We got uh, saber tusks coming around here. Let's get you kind of in the middle there. Okay, you. Oh, I don't have you guys. Let's go ahead and maybe get you back here. And you, on them, you, I, I'd rather have you kind of in, staying in place, if you don't mind. Greases, let's go ahead. Do we have enough for a Rancid Visitations? We don't. Will we have enough? No, we will not. Okay, so we're back to this. Okay, let's go ahead and... This is just a charge bonus. May as well charge for whatever it's worth on him. Let's go ahead and how is Greasus' leadership? His leadership is fine. You guys. How are we looking here? These guys broke in the middle, so that's unfortunate. Okay, I wanted to get around on the. All right, you're going to end up getting bogged down by ogres. That's that's not good. Get out of there. Stay back for now. Okay, we're losing on some fronts. We're winning on on others. We've got to have. We got to get Greases down. I think we'll be in much better shape once that happens. You, you're fine. You can go ahead and just stay on them. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and blast some enemy units here, if possible. Can you cast it from melee? Yes. Not really. Doesn't appear. Okay, you... Oh, okay, Greasus is down. That's good. Okay, get try to get in there if you can. You guys, yeah, it's time to just start helping out with the places where we're losing. Go ahead and get on that hunter. That'll be good. Let's go ahead and get some heals on some of our units here. Okay, we're about to lose those guys entirely, but that's fine. They have served their purpose. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, our giant is in pretty bad shape here. Violent wind. I don't want to do our damage our own guys with that. Okay, you guys go ahead and get on those saber tusks. Alright, yeah, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing okay. I mean, it's it's scuffy. It's not not at all a one-sided fight, but we didn't really expect it to be. You guys, I want you three to all be on... To kind of be in a scrum where you're being protected by some other units. You're okay, however. You are also in a bad shape here. Let's get you into the scrum as well. You maybe can lock them down. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's get you back into the scrum. Yeah, those uh, saber tusks are actually a good target for you. They're more your speed. You got... Oh, I forgot to charge you guys in. Let's... Just in the nick of time, let's do a Napoleonic charge here. Let's go ahead and get you guys back into the fighting. Hit them from behind, please. Okay, we're doing all right down here. 
Let's go ahead and get them hitting here. You, you're in pretty bad shape, actually. Actually, let's get you on the other side of the the Chaos Warhounds and the Giant when he gets there. He's a uh, Giant could use a heal, and it should hopefully spread to him as well. It is. Now we can go ahead and blast these guys with a fireball. It's going to do some damage probably to our own troops. I probably should have handled that a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and head over here. We're, going, we're just going to start seeing them break over here, so that's good. Giant, are you in there yet? You are. That's good. My uh, chaos spawn. Okay, how we got we got some uh, stream of corruption. This is perfect. This is what we need right there. Boom. If you can get there, please, to cast it. Looks like I cast it too far away. Let's try this again. We'll go ahead and do it from here, maybe. I think we're about to win this. Warriors are rallying. Okay, you guys go ahead and everybody down this way. Everybody finish them off. Let's just keep trying to get you out of there. You are doing fine. Fine. Maybe get a fireball off over here on them okay you are doing fine wait a minute is this a uh... yes it is okay let's go ahead and just keep doing our thing here let's let's get this uh... where is he right there let's get that mountain stalker down Okay. Oof. Yeah, not pretty. Not pretty. Glad we got the uh, Regiments of Renown. They obviously made a world difference. We can now do a little cycle charging. I, ooh, our Chaos Spawn is almost eliminated. Okay, you guys. Nope, you're not far enough away yet. Get yourself in better position for a charge here. Death embraces my lord. Oh my goodness, I lost... Oh, I lost Plague Chosen. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Defeating Greasus is, is important, and I think we can recruit new lords at, at rank 5. Alright guys, come on, man. Thought we had this one a minute ago. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, did we get this mountain stalker? Come on, we everybody on that mountain stalker, man. Let's get him down. I don't guess we can even catch him, can we? Def def definitely want to use that potion of healing. I don't really want to use the uh, fireball now. Uh, this is good, however. Maybe that'll help him catch up. Okay. You probably can't reach. You probably can't reach. I guess there's no reason why I, I shouldn't have just done absolutely everybody on him. Does this slow him down? It does. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's speed things up and let's hope that we can take him down. Is he even taking any damage? Yeah, he's taking damage. That's good. Not quickly. Okay. So, the only thing that I really care about having lost in this fight is Plague Chosen. But he was our weakest lord. He's easily replaceable, and this was a good win for us. I'm not at all upset to have lost a Regiment of Renown since... They're expensive to upkeep anyway. And you can see what I mean about I'm not really great about the micro on cycle charging them or making sure that they're fighting the appropriate unit. I think everything else, maybe not the Chaos Spawn, but, but maybe 
maybe everything else will survive. Yep, but the Chaos Spawn did as well. Okay, so we just lost the Forsaken Regiment of Renown. Oh, we lost... We lost our play, all of our Plague Bearers and our Frolickers Bubonic. That's okay. Again, everything that we lost is fairly easily replaceable, and this is a big win. Okay. I would say it wasn't the best fight, the, the best battle that I've ever fought. Shambletown, I think we want to occupy because it is a part of the province that we're trying to take over. Okay. Oh! Mission aborted. I forgot about that. Oh well, that's okay. Yep, we're recruiting at five. In fact, we already have one who is... who we already had. I forgot about him. This is Falpus Slimegax. I don't really see any reason to not just go ahead and take him again since it won't cost us anything. Okay, got a little bit of uh, ranks to apply here. Let's go ahead and give him Deadly Blade, and let's give him Foe Seeker, and let's take him... He's not on a mount. Okay. Alright, so that's good. Let's see, what else do we have here? We got Gro Grog himself. How are you doing here? You don't have Arcane Conduit yet. Now you do, okay. What about, we didn't gain any magic items or ancillaries, okay. Ben von Liebwitz. You... need to increase mobility. And then you need blade shield. And... Let's go ahead and take the fate of Buna. Let's go ahead and take our Toxic Trooper and Deadly Blade. Toxic Trooper, Deadly Blade, that's good. That's going to be reducing armor by 20. Let's go ahead and give him... Let's see, he's not the only cultist in this army. We may eventually, though, want to move him into another army, so I'm going to go ahead and start giving those guys the army buffs as well. And you... You get three. Blade Master, hard to hit. You get three. Replenish troops. Life leeching. And... It was Soul Blight that I liked, okay. Alright. Good enough. We, uh... I yearn for think we probably want to get rid of the Regiments of Renown. Bef yeah, this 500 per turn. This is not good. Use for our money. He served his purpose. You are 250 per turn. You served your purpose. And I want to have them available again at some point down the road for purposes of... Emergencies. Okay. You need to stay in encampment stance. That's fine. You don't have... Actually, if I were to... Sw yeah, the vampire... Cor they, they would start to suffer attrition if, uh, if I took them out of encampment. And I would love to be able to start getting these guys some... Uh, channeling stance, winds of magic, but that's just not going to happen anytime soon. You know what you you need? You need crumbling ague. Boom. And you really don't, so I'm not going to worry about spreading it right now. Okay, so Grog... Chaos Warriors or Nurgle, that's, that's something to keep in mind, but we're not going to do it just yet. I think we have enough troops right now. Not to mention we're not being threatened by anything, so we, we can obviously hold, hold on to this for the time being. Let's go ahead and 
get some stuff growing, some buildings growing in that settlement. Okay. Onward and upward. Not really anything else we can afford to do. It doesn't look like it. Nothing that's a priority. Lord not moved. Yes, we know. We're going to continue to get the almost 500 gold per turn from that. There's value in that. This hero not moved. What's our chances of, of being able to do a uh, an assassination here? 21%. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. I think I will definitely pass on that. Let's keep... Let's just move him up here. Make sure we don't see any more armies of Greasus close by. We really don't. Okay. Let's move him back. This army up here is half full. Oh, what are these guys? Gorgers. Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so he's got... Uh, how strong is he at this point? He's 50 or 30. He's got two settlements. Yeah, Greasus is in pretty bad shape at this point. Gorsh is in pretty bad shape as well. So we are... We're solidly winning our wars. Cultist. Oh, I totally forgot. I was going to bring him down and have him join the battle. Dag nabbit. That's what happens when I have a couple of days in between playing episodes. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, what about you? Is there hinder replenishment? It's not worth almost 500 gold just to get a chance at a skill up. It's not worth 400 either. So let's go ahead and move you up this way. Let's get eyes on... Okay, so we've met Grimgor now. We see him. He's got a, a wall army with him. That's terrifying. Let's hope Grimgor doesn't set his eyes on us anytime soon. No, actually, I shouldn't say that. We'll beat him if, uh, if it comes to that. Okay, I've already looked through our buildings. Research. What are we at? Three out of four up here now? Three out of four. Time for this. Two turns. Works for me. Cold upgrade available. Not interested. Diplomacy. Let's go ahead and just check to see if there's anything to do here. Magath Kin still not interested in confederating, but um, somebody pointed out to me that he was actually he's winning a battle, winning his offensive up here. We can't really see exactly. I think he went somewhere over here, but it's all fine. Let's go ahead and just give one last look over things here and okay. All right. It's a pretty successful turn. Let's go ahead and end it. I'm just kind of assuming that Gorst is going to do nothing. Well, that's interesting. That's not what I expected. Not sure I understand the value in that, but... I won't say no. The wild hunt ceases. Oh man, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, boy. All of them. Man, that's bad. It's so bad. Well, that that's what it that's what happens when we take as long as this to uh to get rid of Gorst. Okay, well, Correct me if I'm wrong, but if enough time in a province with low vampiric corruption and, and that could disappear, or am I wrong about that? Or do we do we have to do we have to build this uh what building is it here? It's a 
this. I'm thinking back to the days of the um, Realms of Chaos campaign where you, you suffer those negative traits, but you can get rid of them after a while. Okay, so... Yeah, this is... Wow, this is like just a sacrifice. He just sac sacrificed this army to us. I'm halfway tempted to auto-resolve it, but I don't want to get into the habit of doing that, so we won't auto-resolve it. We'll, we'll do this as quickly as we can. I was going to say, I think we could probably win this with zero casualties, but he's got some some character units. They might they might do something to us. He's got those Cryptors. I don't really worry too much about that. Even our weakest Nurglings aren't going to suffer too much to Cryptors at this point. Let's start our deployment. Let's go ahead and let's get you guys in here you up here and Kugath let's get you know what let's get all of this over here like this Kugath are that are they in our range yes they are in fact we can even move him back a little bit can we move them back to here? Uh, I can't really see the green. I can't tell if they're in our range or not. There we go. Here, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Still in our range. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's go ahead and put Kugath in guard mode. In fact, let's get everybody in guard mode. And uh, our beast, we make sure he's in there. Okay, so now you guys, I don't want you in guard mode. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't have you in it. Okay, start battle. Don't get in the way of where Kugath is throwing his exploding Nurglings, please. Let's go ahead and get you here and you here. And let's get you throwing at whatever doesn't really matter at this point let's get you right there boom you right here boom I'm kind of curious if his Characters. Uh, I'm thinking this one over here is either a necro or a or a vampire. What are, which which are you? You're a vampire. Okay, so you have magic. Are you going to use it on our plague ridden? Let's go ahead and speed things up here. Let's go ahead and get you up to here. Boom. And you. Might as well hit the higher priority targets with you as well. this oh Karen Wraiths I didn't even notice they had Karen Wraiths interesting let's go ahead and summon you guys and for whatever this is worth we're gonna send them at the Karen Wraiths Kugath we want you to be close enough to be providing your benefits to these guys so let's now nah, I don't want actually I want you to just still be kind of in the middle Okay, and nothing attacking us yet. Karen Wraiths are not exactly sure where they're going. Oh, no, I didn't want that. 
Oh, yes, I did. That's right. You're the summoned unit. Yeah, we want you charging in there and then exploding, and I'm just curious to see... What are they at right now? They 4928. Yeah, okay. You did barely anything at all. That's not a surprise. Let's go ahead and get you guys on him. You as well. You guys are fine. Let's go ahead and activate that. Let's go ahead and get a stream of corruption. Oh. Didn't realize. Kugath got himself a little bit pinned in there. Let's get you in on this fight. And taking off that fire at will. Go ahead and do that. Actually, I lost track of where you are. You're fine. Where you are, you are not. We need to get you involved. Let's get you maybe over here. Let's go ahead and do a a nice blight boil right here. These are only zombies, but you know, it'll still be fun to watch. Now you can do that. And then you can also do a... They don't have... Yes, do a... Rancid Visitations on him. Beast of Nurgle, let's get you in on that action right there. Let's go ahead and... Let's watch a little bit of the fighting going on here. Lots of uh, smokiness. Is this what you would call Fog of War, or is this... Like, this is not what you would call Fog of War. It's giving a whole new meaning to Fog of War. Ah, yes. It is a good-looking game in many ways. Okay, so we killed the enemy. Lord. Where's the vampire at? There's the vampire right there. Let's go ahead and get you guys on the vampire. You as well, might as well. Let's go ahead and activate that. And I'm trying to do this without suffering any casualties. We lost two Nurglings. Dag, Nab, we lost four Nurglings. Five Nurglings. Okay. Boom. And you... Let's go ahead and send you into them. Boom. Go ahead and cast Fleshy Abundance on him. Okay, I think everything is going to start disintegrating here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get a uh, stream of corruption here. Okay, we finished off those guys, the uh, Cryptors. Let's just now get our best units on. Okay, everything's disintegrating. Took a few few minutes, a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm not going to get too upset about a battle where we wipe out a 20 stack at the loss of five of our weakest units. Excuse me. Five models of our weakest forces. So that's good. After having no good battles in the previous episode, we've gotten several in to this one. Definitely made some progress. The war of maneuvering has now ended, and it's just a, a war of mopping up at this point pretty much. Okay, I think we're going to take the 184 because the 625. Yeah, I, I generally use the 10 to 1 ratio and we're not getting 10 times as much 
money out of it, so I'll take the infections. Okay, Tormentor Sword. Okay, that's good, actually. I like that. Gain some ranks. I like that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and... First of all, we can put you back into Raiding Stance, which is what we want. Just taking a look here. He's got those two Vargles. Don't know what all he's got. Yeah. Alright, we're just going to, I think, at this point, more or less continue the, the raiding until we get our other armies over there to help out. And what am I doing with Kugath here? I want you to have... Do I need any of the blue line down here? Not yet. Not yet. Let's go ahead and give him Blade Shield. Value in that. And... Adipus, we want you to have Hard to Hit. Because you're going to start more and more often finding yourself in the thick of fighting. Okay. I'll go ahead and take Gate of Nurgle. I don't love the idea of having to spend one, two, three, four ranks to get to the Greater Gate of Nurgle, which does allow us to summon a Great Unclean one. But the problem is this uh, Gate of Nurgle thing. It only re recharges if your hit points are less than 75%, and that just doesn't seem to ever really happen. So the fact that we get three uses for it just does not... It's not useful because uh, because it never recharges. But we'll go ahead and put one point into it for now. I'm going to go ahead and start giving him replenished troops because we may want to move him to another army at some point. Let's go ahead and with Mintash, what am I doing with you? Looks like maybe... I don't see any reason not to give him leadership. You can have a little bit of increased mobility. And you can take... Which one is it that we usually give them? I think it's Chaos Gladiator. Yeah. I mean, that's useful, but... In the great big battles, I, I tend to not... Click it as often as I should. Okay. All right, and you, are you still at uh, a paltry 20-some percent here? Yes, you are. Got to figure out a way to get you some levels. You don't fit in that army. You would fit in Grog's army down here. Shambletown, you're at, you're at a garrison of 10. Once you're... Once you're up to the next level and you have this building built, you're going to have a garrison of 14. That is going to be enough that we can easily hold that with just a small army, which basically means foul pus. So I'm tempted. In fact, Grimgore might be wiping out Bone Chewer up there this turn anyway. So at this point, I'm pretty tempted to move Grog over in this direction. Now, we're going to, we still need, we got Crumbling Ague, we still need to recover our, you know what, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do this, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and give you, let's go ahead and give you this cultist right here, boom, Hopefully that was the crumbling ague, crumbling ague, crumbling ague. Now we can move you back into this army. Very good. And let's go ahead and keep moving in this direction. I, I would love to be able to put him into channeling stance, but I just can't right now. You, however, can go into Shambletown. Okay. 
So that's good. We don't have to worry about crumbling a U now for 12 turns on this army. Oh, yeah, somebody else uh, reminded me that I could do this, right? Um, this is a random plague that would apply here. Is there... Is this worth our money to do this? It's a thousand gold. I don't think it is. Yeah. It's not like the Skaven. We can't, we can't really um, sabotage a settlement as easily with our, uh, with our cults like the Skaven can with their undercities. Okay. Um, armies, heroes, you. I kind of want you to... What are you doing here? You're spreading corruption. May as well spread corruption in that province right there. Why not? And you as well. Why not? Oh, no. You're spreading control. How are we doing on control down here? Our control is absolutely fine. It's still going up. Man, that bothers me so much. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead, I think, and just take one more look at our buildings. Oh, wow. We're almost out of time. These episodes go fast, don't they? We could do this at Ruin's End. There's definitely value in that. And I think that's probably our best value. This is also something that I would like to do in time. It's an extra 200 per turn. It costs 4,000. This one is an extra 200 per turn. It costs 3,000. Oh, we can do both. How about that? Very good. Okay. Problem solved. All right. And then one turn away from finishing our research. Okay, we dropped... From 30 down to 49. That's weird. I guess just from having lost those high rank plague bearers. So Greece has stayed put. Who's next? Is it Grimgore or is it Gorst? I think it's Grimgore. Oh, we get to watch a little bit of the Empire here. There's Grimgore. And boom. Okay. Yeah, I would say that things are not looking good for Greasus. Thought for a second he was going to attack me. Come on, Gorst. I dare you. Okay. So this is a little bit uh, of a concern that we now share a border with Grimgore. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're demons. We don't worry about green skins. We don't worry about any mortals at all. Okay. Very good. Fairly productive episode, I think. We, um, just really quickly here, I want to see how strong Grimgore is and what he thinks of us. He's, uh, he's pretty strong. He's got 14 settlements. He, uh, he doesn't hate us, and it's moving in the right direction, but of course that means nothing. If he decides he wants our territory, he will attack us. Of that, I have no doubt, but poor Greasus is down to zero settlements, and it looks like basically, I think all he's got left at this point is just that camp. This right here. That, that is it for Greasus. Greasus has been essentially eliminated that just leaves Gorst and then wherever we want to turn our eyes next but we will have to think about that and make a decision on that in the next episode we are out of time for this one so once more thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one